Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today I'm going to show you how to build your own artist's website from beginning to end. I will be using Wix to do this. Wix are the kind sponsors of this three-part video series. If you want to start your own artist musician website, go to wix.com forward slash go forward slash Dr. Mix. You can follow my steps along this video and have your own professional website so that the internet can buy your music, watch what you do, and you can be famous. Coming up. Hey guys, welcome along the Dr. Mix channel. Glad to have you here. I have to talk about this because the reason why you see me here in the first place is because I have a good website that works and um, and website is a bit of an important uh, subject for us independent artists, right? So I, I know the frame of mind. You're making your own music, you know, you're fixated with all the, the music, the bits, the technology and everything else. But that, at the end of the day, what you really, really want is to share your music with others, at least majority of artists. And, uh, you know, God forbid, make a little bit of money with it. So uh, um, I, I have been struggling a little bit with my artist's website. Just let me clarify for one second. You see, besides my Dr. Mix thing, I'm also an established artist in the dance, Latin, house, jazz, Afro world, I would say. And I even have a second YouTube channel where I show all my travels, all my gigs, and uh, a little bit behind the scenes. If you're interested in that, you might want to subscribe to that channel as well. But most critically, I have a Sunlight Square website. Let me show you my artist website, all right? So here it is. Sunlight Square, it's all nice and dandy. Actually, I kind of like this, this look still, but you know, this is something that I've done 10 years ago. 10 years ago, you could not sell music just with, you know, an app. That wasn't such a thing. So I had to build my own shop, accepting credit cards. Man, I cannot explain how hard it was to put this together. Plus, I have quite a substantial catalog. I mean, these are my CDs, these are my digital releases. Look at that. So, you know, it really took a long time for me to put this together, and it has been serving me quite well for quite some years, but not lately. And uh, you know why? One of the main problems with this website, let me show you. Now you see what, what's going on here. I mean, I have to pinch. I have to, I mean, in order to navigate this, it's, you know, if I want to see this live page, it's very small. Oh, it's not even secure. Look at that. My website is not even secure. What? And yeah, so this, these are, you know, some of my live things that I do. And, um, I mean, check where I get to play, you know, sometimes. Look at that. And, anyway, I got distracted. So, I like, I mean, I like my website, but look at, I mean, navigating it. I mean, let alone buying something. Let me try and buy something with this. Shop. Can I even, <laughs> it doesn't even work because it's too small. Shop. Okay, there you go. And um, so, yeah, I've got this thing, but, you know, oh, this is upcoming. <sighs> I'm really bad at this. So even you have to, like, if, if you want to buy something, you also have to create an account. It takes a million clicks. And also, I don't think that this website clearly explains who I am or what I do. So I decided to get a new domain name, Claudio.pro, which will be about myself, what I do, including the Sunlight Square project. And now I will start building my website in front of your very eyes using only Wix. Let's do this. New window, Wix. The place to create professional websites. All right, get started. Uh, new to Wix, sign up. All right, I'm gonna blur this, obviously. All right, so let Wix ADI create a website for you. Create your website with the Wix editor. I want to create my own website with the Wix editor. So we have, um, oh, that's interesting. We have templates, categories, music, music, music. Ooh, hello, Eddie Baker. I like this one. Ooh, looks good also on mobile. That's cool. Um, do you know what? I like the first one. Let's go with this. Uh, how do I go? Edit. Okay. Let's see, it's doing its thing. Okay, so 
All right, so that's cool. Image. All right, change page background. Image. Now I have a folder where I've put some good pictures of mine and um, upload media, upload from computer. Let's go to the desktop. New website pictures. I've got this one with my Minimog. That's cool, right? By the way, if you are going to invest any money in making a website, invest in having a good picture taken of yourself, you know, in the context of what you do. That goes a long way. Anyway, all right, let's put this on. It's loading it up. Cool. So change background and bang. Okay, this we close. This is pretty cool. Uh-oh, my head is cut right there. Change page, background, settings, opacity. Oh, okay, and um, fill. Where is this image positioned? Maybe like that. Yeah, that worked. Nice. Except I need my name on it now. Claudio Passavanti. Because that's my name. Maybe it's a bit too big. Uh, let's try and put it on two columns. Let's see. Do we like it like that? Okay, this is too long now. Let me shorten it. Yeah. Claudio Passavanti. How does it look there? Yeah. And then, musician, trumpet player, composer. I don't think so. I would say, a.k.a. Sunlight Square, comma, a.k.a. Dr. Mix. So I hope that clarifies a little bit. And um, can I make this bigger? Yes. Like this? No. Oh, I have to select them. Uh -huh. Yes. A.k.a. Sunlight Square, a.k.a. Dr. Mix. Let's try and... Uh, extend this right yeah does it look good does it look all right all right let's see okay save okay i should connect it to my domain okay i can do that later let's say sunlight one there you go and uh, let's see a preview of this so this is how it's gonna look that looks cool all right, I think I'm going to have to do some work on this stuff. And uh, let's go back to editor now. Okay, upcoming shows. Upcoming shows, I don't think I'm going to have that on my homepage. But if I'm going to put any content, maybe it should be wider, like this. Let's see if I can expand this. Yeah, you know, I could do something like that, and that looks better. Latest news, let me see if I can expand this as well. And I like that it's almost, it's like semi-transparent, so you can keep on, on seeing. And here you have the music. Okay, I think we'll go through that later. Let me just decide what pages I'm gonna have. So this is the horizontal menu. Okay, you can navigate it. All right. So you have home, music, shows, news, gallery, bio, contact. Okay, let's manage these pages. I definitely want a bio. And that guy keeps on popping up. We'll address that. Um, and then we, you know, music, uh, this should be really sunlight square. Shows, maybe, news, maybe, gallery and contact. All right, I think, I think we can we can address this later. Let's go back to, how do I go back to the first page? Navigate, okay, home. Okay, so the page background, settings. Can I set it on all the pages as well? Apply to other pages? Yes, that's what I need. Close, bang, save. All right, I think this video has been quite long already. Um, you know what, I'm gonna do one or two more videos about this where I actually finish my website. So check out the second part now. Dr. Mix.